I never saw anything like that anywhere. Here it could be maybe a neighborhood. There is a market, you know. At the moment, I'm planning to do an exhibition and it's called A Trading Journey. I'm using that exhibition to show a work in progress I'm doing in Wanju city in south of China. At some point it was the only city where all the goods coming in through, uh, to China were going through Wanju. I was you know, reading about all these markets and everything, but when I got there and I saw the extension of these markets, I was totally shocked. <laughs> I never saw anything like that anywhere. Here it could be maybe a neighborhood that is a market, you know. When I was walking around the fashion market, I was walking around and I saw different shops. There was actually a mountain of clothes and the um, shop assistant was just on top of the mountain. <laughs> so it was quite sh shocking in that sense. So I took a picture of it. I was probably walking around the city for eight, ten hours and I couldn't really communicate with many people. So I felt quite lonely in Wanju. But, um, you know, I came up with the idea of having some sentences written in a piece of paper, which kind of, it's been, you know, it was very helpful. I'm trying not to make images of hard-working people, because <laughs> I think that we've been bombarded by images from China of um, you know factories or you know people working in certain conditions and so I was looking for these particular interactions or relations between the traders and the buyers. And here you could see like this kind of relation between objects and the goods and the and people. When I was editing the images, um, I kind of decided to choose the images where people doesn't really look at the camera. You know, it gives a little bit more kind of tension to the narrative. I just want to cut it. We're going to put this, this is wallpaper, and that's going to be in this wall. So it's a quite tricky operation. Because the exhibition is about the trading in Wanjo, which is a twin city with Bristol, I wanted to bring it to the harbour, where back in the time, all the trading coming to Bristol came through this part of the city. So the idea was like kind of linking these two cities through the port. Don't push it too much, because we're here now. Perfect. It's quite nice when you see the work printed and out of the screen and it's a kind of, you know, relief, like the image is kind of becoming a bit live. We just walked past and saw the, there was a, a sign on the, on the outside there saying what are the lions staring at and it intrigued us and so we came and had a look. I really love the one that's mounted on the wall at the end. It goes with the style of the container. Um, it's, it's unusual. Yeah, it's different, but it's good. It's not. Not everyone can like hire a massive room and put loads of pictures in there. So if you just want to do it yourself, you can get like a container that's like a reasonable amount of money. Kind of make me feel it's a small world. A lot of the things I see are very familiar. You know, the man taking his dog for the walk, the woman on a mobile phone, and yet there is something bigger than Bristol in them. You know, it just looks rather more monumental. To be honest, I. I think a slight sense of melancholy, really. I didn't get any sense of warmth or happiness in the subjects at all. I got the sense he wasn't really looking for beauty at all, but looking just for real life. <laughs>